Technology certainly has changed the way we communicate. So aside from writing a check, most of us don't spend much time handwriting anymore. But as News 13's John Lee tells us, some think we should make room for cursive in the classroom. Starting at the line, remember, down at the bottom. So let's start with the bottom line. In the modern world, all this sure seems old school. But do you guys remember in cursive, what do we do with our letters? A, B, C, D. We connect them. Is cursive fun? Yes, it kind of is, like, it's very entertaining. Fun. It's not like the fireman's pole where we come back down. It's more of a loop. But kind of tedious. It's really good for um, those kids that need a little extra help with their fine motor skills. Third grade teacher Katie Shellog's routine at Hall Fletcher Elementary. They do cursive every day um, after their word work. The Back to Basics bill introduced in the State House would ensure that cursive is part of the curriculum at all North Carolina schools. I've got some people forgetting to do the magic C. There are so many times when I have my computer and my phone and my iPad around me, but I still just want a good old pencil and paper to make a note. Like, maybe I want to meet somebody, so I'll just, like, jot that down somewhere. That's <laughs> what my mom does, actually. And we all know technology has made the handwritten word virtually obsolete. I can do juggle. Okay, do juggle. That's a good one. But Shellog says high tech and low tech can coexist. I think it's good to just make sure that they're doing a balance of both. And before we just write off cursive, if I went so we're far away, Caven describes a letter to his mom one day. Put it in the mailbox and say, I miss you. Driving home why cursive really can be relevant. For personal reasons. I'll see you one day. And for some, that's enough reason to stay connected to cursive. Perfect. That's great. <laughs> Beautiful was a little hard. In Asheville, John Lee, News 13.